Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you guys how to configure a, a simple did in Magnus billing. Um, so let's start. Let's go over to the menu did and go over to, to dids here. As you guys can see, I don't have any registered here. So let's create a new one. Here you should type the number as it comes in from your provider. I assume you already have a trunk configured. If you don't, please check our video on that. Um, here we have activation cost, monthly pricing. Uh, here is are the values if you want to charge per minute and who you want to charge. A little uh, brief description if you want to uh, add one. Here you have some uh, billing details here which you can change. I'm not going to go um, over every field. You can simply mouse over and uh, discover what each does. So uh, let's save it. OK, so now we have a did registered here. And as you guys can see, it's not reserved. There is no user um, associated to it. It's active. Zero seconds have been used. Um, let's also go over. Uh, to destination did and this is where you can actually configure what that did where we registered here is for so let's click in new and select the did we just created and now we can actually uh, assign it to a user so let's give the user root here um, this did it let's keep it active priority let's keep it at one and here in type of call is what we're gonna do when a call arrives from this did so as you guys can see we have multiple options in our billing uh, we have many many features uh, but for sake of simplicity i'm not gonna explain all of those as you may already know i'm simply gonna uh, make sure to explain the custom one which uh, does exactly what it's uh, it sounds like you can simply type and uh, uh, type whatever you want uh, the system to do uh, but let's go with call sip and uh, now you can simply select an user that should receive the call when this did rings also uh, it's good to remember that the one that is going to be charged for this did is the user selected here not the one receiving the call actually you can even concatenate users and add more all by using call groups custom uh, commands here anyway so let's save and now your did should be active and working uh, regarding the pricing that you selected here um, after the activation of the did as you guys can see now it's reserved for this user after one month this user should be charged the monthly price um, also regarding the activation cost you should this uh this value doesn't get charged automatically you need to actually go and charge the user for it and this is uh, a field that is only used as a reference so you can uh, if you if you choose a value, if someone tells you the value, so you, you can store it in the system, but it doesn't actually go and charge someone by it. So if you want to actually charge the activation cost, you need to to go and charge the person manual manually through the riffles. Um, the, so this is the basic configuration. It's pretty st straightforward and easy to do, uh, but. I made the video anyway because some people uh, may find it useful. Thank you guys for watching, like the video, subscribe to the channel and check our other videos. Uh, see you guys next time.